Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about T-cell activation. T-cell activation involves a series of signals by stimulatory and co-stimulatory molecules so that the inactive T-cell becomes activated in order to get an immune response. So it's a process where native T-cell gets activated into effective T-cell or we can say a mature cell. We have a native T-cell which is a form of differentiated T-cell from a bone marrow that gets differentiated into two different types of cells. One is called as CD4 positive cell that's also called as helper T cell and another is CD8 positive cell that's also called cytotoxic cell. Both the cells are in an immature form that is, they cannot induce or direct any immune response unless they are activated. So here we have an APC that's antigen presenting cell that has capability to present antigen in the form of peptide stores a nerve cell. Nerve cell we have CD4 positive and CD8 positive and these two cells gets eventually activated into effector cells after getting respective signals. APC presents antigen on MSC1 or MSC2 molecules to their specific cells. Antigen presenting cells are of two types. First one is nucleated cell, second is non-nucleated cells. Nucleated cells express MSC1 on their surface and they interact with CD8 positive cell only. Whereas Non-nucleated cells express MSC class second molecule and they only interact with CD4 positive cell. This is the main difference between non-nucleated and nucleated cells because they express different type of MSC class molecules on their respective surfaces so that they interact with different type of cells and activate their respective cells that CD8 and CD4 respectively. Now we will see the signals involved in the T cell activation. We have three different type of signals here and we will be discussing them one by one. So we have the first signal here is the antigen specific and it's also called stimulation. This signal is transduced between MSC molecule and TCR that's T cell receptor. MSC molecule is present on APC that's antigen presenting cell and TCR is present on native T cell whether it may be CD4 positive or CD8 positive cell. Like we have T cell here with this TCR region that interacts with MSC molecule present on antigen presenting cell. So this is a stimulation signal that's the T cell gets stimulated by this signal. Then we have the second signal that's in the form of co-stimulation. It's by the co-stimulatory molecules. We have different type of molecule present on these immune cells. We have CD28 molecule present on T cell, B7.1 molecule that's also called CD80 molecule present on antigen present cell. So these molecules provide a co-stimulatory effect on the previous signal so that it enhances the previous signal. It provides co-stimulation. The important thing here is that it stops T cell going into energy where we have lack of any immune response if only first signal is provided to the T cell. So finally, we have the third signal here, which we call as a potent signal because it's for the production of interleukin. So the T cell here releases interleukin and we can say that T cell is activated. And this activated T cell can be CD4 positive or CD8. And here in this case, we have interacted CD28 with B7 molecule or B7.1 molecule. So we can say it is CD8 positive activation here. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Do share this video and do not forget to subscribe this channel.